With her weather in our area, flooding has prompted a state of emergency at the sh uh, Jersey Shore at this hour, while rain and ice are making the rush hour commute tricky in the Philadelphia area. Let's take a look at the action cam live along Route 309. You see the ice in the tree branches here. This is Montgomeryville. And as we pan over, you'll see that traffic, even though the roadways are not in the best shape, traffic is light and it is moving well. It is a recipe for a nasty rush hour, though, near freezing temperatures combined with rain or sleet. In Warminster, the combination created a glaze of ice that coated parked cars and anything else that wasn't above freezing. Well, the ice brought down a tree and some power lines here on Valley uh, Hill Road and Bodine Roads in Charleston Township. In fact, more than 31,000 Pico customers lost power at some point today. <clears throat> Service at this hour, though, has been restored to just about everyone. The storm is a nor'easter, and as usual, the worst of it all is at the Jersey Shore. Flooding is the number one problem. Kathy Gandolfo is live right now on the action cam in Atlantic City with the soggy details. Kathy. Well, Mark, that's right. You know, the shore residents may be used to these winter nor'easters. However, everyone I spoke with today said this is a pretty bad storm, and certainly the worst one of this season. The fierce nor'easter lashed out at the Jersey coast, kicking up five to nine foot waves. Winds were gusting at 40 to 50 miles per hour, bringing down a few power lines. Heavy rain contributed to street flooding and the roads leading to the shore points. Among those affected the black and white horse pikes near Atlantic City. I've been running around for 45 minutes. The cops, they, they detour you, but they don't tell you where to go. This was the scene in Brigantine. Parents were called to pick up their children because of high winds and water. They're supposed to walk home from school, but the school called and asked me to come pick them up because they couldn't walk from the water. A bit further south in Margate, waves crashed over bulkheads spilling out on city streets during the morning high tide. The Ventnor emergency management people were out surveying their town. A lot of flooding, uh, some areas that the police report that usually don't have water. We have water this morning. Uh, we had the Ventnor Heights section closed off for a couple hours and even to Atlantic City. Uh, a lot of the Bay areas were flooded and we had to close them off. Uh, the ocean front, not too bad. A lot of beach erosion. In Sea Isle City, schools were closed because of extensive flooding and howling winds sent trash cans and other objects whirling about. The angry surf is causing beach erosion and Sea Isle is hoping its geotubes hold an already damaged beach on the south end intact. The geotube is still in place. Uh, we, we've uh, lost some sand in that area, but not nearly what we lost in November. And this is a far worse storm. Ocean City officials are also watching their beaches. Here at 10th Street, the erosion was evident today. Now, there are limited states of emergency in several Cape May County towns, including North Wildwood, Wildwood, Stone Harbor, and Avalon. Folks are urged to stay off the streets so that emergency vehicles could get through and to put their cars on higher ground if they haven't already. Officials are also uh, bracing for tonight's high tide, 8 o'clock on the ocean, about 9.30 on the back bays. Reporting live from Atlantic City, I'm Kathy Gandolfo. Kathy, thank you. And, of course, the, you can see the picture down there jiggling a bit because of the wind. Dave, it's rain at the shore. It's ice and snow to the, or ice to the northwest. The big question, how much longer? How much more? Not much longer, Mark. Uh, in the greater Philadelphia area, we're just about out of the system. We've got some light rain here on City Avenue. The winds are going to stay on the high side for a few hours, and then things are definitely going to get better. Let's go to Action Radar. Right away, you can see that heavy cell. Look at it. What's just hanging off the coast there? Atlantic City getting hit. Witness uh, Kathy down there with all of her rain gear around with the hard driving rain. Should be a couple of hours, and that system should uh, slowly pull away. You can see Philadelphia, and then to the south around Wilmington, just some very, very light stuff. Go a little wider now on Action Radar, and we'll show you the cell. There's the current picture. We're going to go back several hours now, and we'll set it in motion for you, and you'll see the development of the storm just kind of stays there. Counterclockwise move, and then shoots off to the coast. Build, 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 hang right over us and then the major edge of it starting to move away. All right, for the New Jersey shore tonight, a coastal flood warning has been posted uh, for Atlantic and Cape May counties. So uh, overnight, we expect that to just continue down there. Got to watch it. New Jersey, the tides tonight will be about two feet above normal. The winds north northeast will be 25 to 35 miles per hour with some higher gusts, but we're on the downside. That's the good news. All right, overnight in the greater Philadelphia area, the winds are going to hang on here too, north. 15 to 25 miles per hour. Going to be some, some higher gusts, but we're looking for some late clearing. We're in the process of getting that. The overnight low here is the key, 26 to 30 degrees. Both of those numbers, of course, below freezing. So overnight, you have to anticipate some icy spots where you see standing water, there could be some ice. You're going to be out tonight for the early morning hours. 
please be careful. We'll take another look at Action Radar and watch that sell as it continues to move away. But we're on the plus side as things are starting to improve. It'll be uh, a few more hours down at the shore before they're clear. That's the latest. We'll have more for you in just a few seconds. Later. This weather scope is sponsored by MCI, one company, one local to global connection. This is a special edition of weather scope. Hello and welcome to this special edition of weather scope. I'm Dan Atkinson in the forecast center where we continue to track an intense storm impacting the mid-Atlantic mid -Atlantic states with lots of wind, plenty of rain, coastal flooding and just a little bit of snow left, as we'll see in southern New England. Uh, we're going to begin, uh, for, uh, inst for inst before we begin with a live shot from Atlantic City, let me just tell you that this storm has brought some sporadic power outages and road closures to uh, areas from North Carolina up to New Jersey. And now we do want to show you what's happening in Atlantic City by way of our mast cam. Incidentally, what you're seeing there is a, a wiper that keeps the lens uh, clear in the rainy weather. Uh, this is Atlantic City, New Jersey, where moderate rain has fallen off and on through the day, and there is a coastal flood warning in effect for the area. Temperatures have been in the upper 30s, and there have been reported wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. And in Philadelphia earlier today, we had some wet, cold, and rainy weather, certainly. Many of you had a hard time keeping your umbrellas from blowing inside out as you walked downtown. There were wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour in Philadelphia, and you can expect light rain for the remainder of the day. And the rainmaker, as the surface map shows, is the storm center, which is here. Tight isobars, an indication to you that there's a, a lot of wind being generated by this storm as it moves on into the Atlantic now, fortunately. But the wind's still a big factor, as we'll see. Temperatures in the 30s, all the way from Boston down to Washington. And wind chills at times in New York, for instance, in the single digits. And right now, along with the uh, winds, uh, wind chills, that is. We do have the winds uh, resulting in marine warnings for a large section of the northeast coast. And we are joined here in the forecast center by meteorologist Colin Marquis, Weather Channel meteorologist. And Colin, uh, this storm earlier was a big snowmaker. Now, what's the main threat from it? The main threat now is uh, strong winds and the continued risk this evening for some additional coastal flooding. South Jersey, Delaware, and the Delmarva region. Whereabouts is it on this satellite view as we take a look? Okay, the uh, swirling area of low pressure is beginning to make a move now, uh, Dan, to the east-northeast. And we are seeing some pretty good pressure rises on the uh, eastern banks of Virginia, indicating to us that storm system is slowly pulling away. 
and this is some good news, but we still have about four to six hours to sit through as far as the continued risk for some coastal flooding, particularly on the barrier islands. And during that four to six hours, uh, there's some tidal changes taking place, aren't they, that impact this coastal flood advisory area? Yeah, there certainly are, Dan. Uh, from South Jersey right on through portions of the Chesapeake, that's where our uh, main concern is as far as uh, the problems with coastal flooding. And the main time period that we're looking at is this evening, from about 7 to about 11, depending on exactly where you are. It's important to know when the time of high tide, when that time of high tide is, and about two to three feet above average. Not quite as bad as the high tide cycle we went through this morning, because the winds at that point were more onshore from the northeast, piling that water onto uh, the land, whereas now they're coming more straight from the north. So it will be a problem this evening, but hopefully not quite as bad as this morning. I see, and along with the, the water uh, coming in from the ocean, we're also getting a lot still falling as radar shows. This, reaching, this radar showing Boston down to Washington. That's right. Also notice some of the trends here. We're tending to see the rain move offshore probably another three or four hours across portions of the Chesapeake in eastern Virginia and up through Delaware, but also notice up toward Cape Cod in southeast Massachusetts, it's moving onshore. So there actually be a period of time in the next few hours, right on through uh, the first half of the night anyway, we're having some heavy rain across Cape Cod. And we might add that uh, what you're seeing here is pretty much all rain, although there is a little bit of light snow at uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, uh, Bradley Field, Connecticut, and uh, Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts as well. A few light flurries and snow showers, but nothing as far as uh, important accumulation. That's right. Here's some of the heavier rain. Uh, this is offshore there in New Jersey. And Next several hours, this area from about Wildwood in Atlantic City down through Cape Henlopen and Fenwick Island, that's where the heaviest rain is being experienced. Well, Colin, we thank you. Talking with Colin Marquis, Weather Channel meteorologist, and this storm that we've been uh, hearing about, of course, began as a big snowmaker in the central and southern Appalachians. Here's the latest snow totals. Ghent, West Virginia, topping the list at this time with 42 inches reported. Beach Mountain, North Carolina, coming in close behind with 40 inches. And if you're going to be away from your TV set and want to get more information on this storm or any of the weather across the nation or across the world, join us on our website, weather.com. And now to Mike Bono in the studio for the update on what's happening elsewhere across the country and your forecast. Right you are, Dan. And uh, to the west, we have heavy rain and strong winds just poised off the Pacific coast. And that storm is set to move onshore late tonight and tomorrow in Washington and Oregon and then in California. We'll take a look at the map and uh, we'll show you exactly what we mean. Indeed, there is a pretty nice weather right now in most of the west, but that will change. You can see the big green blob off the west coast uh, that is our signature for rain. And there are a lot of isobars, which mean wind coming on, too. But today, I'll tell you what, folks uh, out at the weather conference at Steamboat Springs, Colorado, enjoying a beautiful, beautiful day for skiing, brilliant sunshine. You have to kind of put the uh, zinc oxide on your nose and a little bit of that sunscreen on your face with uh, high altitude and sun like that. Got to love that skiing in the west with a lot of sunshine today, especially central and southern Rockies. A little bit of a mixed array of precipitation in the Midwest. The south recovering from some rainy weather lately, getting a very nice day. But we're looking at Minneapolis and Redwood Falls so far in Rochester, Minnesota, right around the freezing mark with uh, just a little bit of sleet and maybe freezing rain in some of the railings and and uh, tree branches, but no really serious situation. Places like La Crosse and Oshkosh and Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and maybe even down to Milwaukee later on may have to worry about some action. Green Bay with 32 degrees, but even Minneapolis is going up now. Fargo 25, but really no precipitation to speak of around your area, so it's a mainly mild January day, not what we would try and dub a January thaw, which is usually well above normal. It looks like we had one of those at the beginning of January this year, and ever since then it's been more seasonable. We're losing some daylight in the plains with a lot of clouds, and we've even had some fog in parts of South Dakota and Iowa today. This is all snow on the slopes from Montana through Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, even the mountains of Arizona, gorgeous snow uh, skiing day. And the Sierra with the snow and some low clouds in the San Joaquin Valley. But just offshore, just offshore, we've got a very well organized storm center. We're already seeing the gale warnings now flying from Cape Flattery to Point Arena. Once again, the green is where the rain is well offshore, but onshore we've had ourselves a little bit of rain in the Puget Sound. Pretty steady now, Quileute and Hoquiam, Eugene, Salem, some sprinkles, but enjoying a very mild day. Seattle 56, Portland 52, Medford 61 along with San Francisco. Much of the nation really not too cold at all, but uh, during the evening, the rain moves even into Northern California as this stubborn storm produces one more flooding tide in the middle Atlantic coast. 
and then moves on out to sea. A little bit of uh, wind in Maine for tomorrow. Then some mixed precipitation, Milwaukee, maybe Rockford, Illinois, Chicago could have a, a nuisance type of a snow tomorrow. You could even get a trace to an inch in some parts of the Great Lakes if it really gets up to speed, but even that's a little doubtful. Locally, one more inch of rain in the Jersey Shore off toward Delaware, but that won't be as serious as the saltwater flooding you're going to see tonight. And pretty